Today's video is admittedly a simple one, but yet an important one. How to change the bearings in your bogey wheels. The first thing you're going to want to do when you go to replace the bearings in your bogey wheels is A, make sure they're shot. Or, if you're like me, just replace them once a year and then you don't got to worry about it. Next thing you're going to want to do is know what kind of bearing and what size you need to get. You can hop on the internet and find the microfish or the breakdown for your particular machine, get the part numbers online and order them that way. I'm going to throw some links down below of the two sizes that are used in the Articats that we're running. Um, you got two different sizes in the Firecats. You got rear bogies and upper bogies that run a 65, 6205 bearing. And then you got your smaller bogey wheels that run a, a 6004 bearing. You want to make sure you're running a sealed bearing um, because you're going to want to make sure you're running a sealed bearing. So the smartest thing to do is order your bearings ahead of time, get them on hand before you start tearing stuff apart. Otherwise you end up with a shop that has parts laying everywhere. Order the parts you need before you tear everything apart, that way you don't end up with a mess and can't find stuff. All the tools you're going to need are pretty simple. You need a snap ring plier, a hammer, and then a bearing race and seal installation kit. You can pick up one of these 20 30 bucks at your local hardware store. You can hop online, Amazon's got them for about the same price too. So step one, use your snap ring pliers. Carefully remove the snap ring. Flip the bogey wheel over so that the wider side is down. You can only take them in and out one way. When your kit doesn't have the right sized um, seal or bearing driver, grab a shitty 12 point socket that you don't much like and hammer the bearing out. If you're careful, you can uh, drop the bearing out without dropping the socket. Flip the bogey wheel back over. I like to use a small straight blade screwdriver. Clean the debris out of the slot for the snap ring. Lay the bogey wheel back over. Unpackage your new bearing. Find the size that'll A, fit into the bogey, and B, reach the outside of the bearing. You don't want to force the bearing in by hitting on the, the center or the seal because that could damage the bearing. Take your time to line it up. Try to get it as straight as possible. You're going to have to give it one good hit to get it started. Make sure you're lined up again and then tap it in flush to the bottom. Take your snap ring pliers, lay 
your snap ring back into place. Careful not to puncture the rubber seal on the outside of the bearing. And there you go. That's checked. So like I said, pretty simple, but definitely important. It's way cheaper to swap out a couple $3 bearings than it is to try to play some bogey wheels. I don't know how much bogey wheels are, but I'm sure they're not cheap. Probably 30 plus bucks a piece anymore. Um, if you like this, make sure you hit the thumbs up for me. If you got questions or comments, leave them below. If you want to see what else we're working on or want to hear when I post the next video, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified. It helps me, it helps you. Um, yeah, right on.